Hey, what's up, hello the followers. Uh, today, it's the time to do the workout video I promised to some of you guys who were asking for me to give a sort of an insight what I'm doing here at my special home gym, which I called, by the way, Ogre Gym. Um, today happens to be my left uh, deadlift day. Uh, it's actually the last day of October when I'm filming this, so 31st of October 2018. So you will see this a little bit later after I'm done with the workout. Um, so I'm kind of started. Uh, I already started my you know warm up routine in order to skip and save a little time for your viewing pleasures. Makes no sense much to show you what I've been doing here. And uh, now it's time to start adding some weights to the bar. Uh, I will edit, of course, all the pauses away, except when I'm talking a little bit this and that. So you will just first see some skips, how I proceed with them uh, weights. So now the first um, warm-up uh, series of lifts. I'm going to start with some 70 kilos, just a few reps to get my body going. So, let's start. Set the things down for a bit and uh, let's add some weight, some 25 kilos more and the next set is ready to go. So, now there is 95, 24, 25 more kilos. And a little bit of rest here and 25 kilos more. Why 25 you might ask, it's actually about 10% of my one rep max, a little more than that. So it's a good way to uh, add those weights in increments. So next up, 120 kilos. 120 kilos here, ready to boost a little bit. sound the sound of beautiful iron bashing against each other uh, next up I'm not sure actually I have to probably check it out on my phone what is the what is my programs today I would say 157 kilos maybe 27 kilos is a little bit no 37 kilos is a little bit too much for one jump so Let's go for 145 and then skip to that 157, which is basically my first workout set after these warm-ups. So getting closer to the actual work sets, this time I have my grips here. And the reason is this, I gave up doing mixed grip, that is of this and that, instead of having one-sided grip, kind of a, here because it adds some back rotation when you're uh, hands are in mixed position. There are different uh, schools of doing that, so bear in no mind this is not definitely not the only way to do that. Some people rather prefer not to do with straps, some do, and uh, there's nothing wrong with doing without straps or with straps. Of course for grip power it would be more handy to not use this one. But usually, at least with my uh, grip strength, which is not that good, when I go more than 140 kilos, the grip strength, strength is not enough to handle those weights in proper technique. So I'm using these babies just to get a little bit more focus on the actual lift. These are really easy to just apply and then go for the lift.
So, five reps between that. As you notice, I'm getting, I'm starting to breathe a little bit more because the weight is getting heavier and the pause between set is not that long. Next step, I'm gonna have a two minutes break before I go to the first work set, which is today 157 kilos or 57.2, uh, 0.5, yeah. So next stop is the first work set after the warm up, 157.5. Still not using the belt, I'm gonna save it for the two last work sets and uh, probably some uh, of the uh, accessory work which I'm gonna do with the main sets. So let's go. Grips or straps in place. Touch and go, set there, not full stop this time, I sometimes do the other way, just for the sake of changing the pattern which then again shocks the body. Some might think it's foolish, some might not, once again different set of, uh, different school of rule set basically. So next up 180 kilos, this time I'm gonna have 4 minutes break in order to kind of recover from this set, which is me warming up for me for the next one. So roughly 20 minutes in, in training, uh, I'm preparing more for my second heaviest um, sets of lifts. So this time I'm ready with my belt, 180 kilos, let's get some fire here. Straps in, inhaling. Full stops. Getting heavier, but still not that heavy. Now, some five minute break, setting the alarm, and then we have the final heavy set before heading for accessory moves. So the final heavy set is here. Uh, this is a weight I've lifted many, many, many times throughout the year. But obviously I'm gonna go here for my rep max. Let's see how it goes. Five is an absolute minimum I'm going for, but I don't know how much more I can do. It's 205 kilos, so quite heavy for me, but not near my absolute max. Uh, I don't know how it goes, so let's see. First some water. Okay. Let's set up the stripes. Strips and straps. Let's go. Getting heavy. 
I feel like I'm uh, gonna pass out right now. Breathing like a maniac here, a little hard to talk as you can see. Uh, maybe I'll get back to you in a bit and explain what's going on and what kind of uh, workout program I have. See you. Whew. So the heavy set is now done, but one last deadlift set remains and this is a paused deadlift set. You will see in a bit what it actually means if you are not familiar with the movement, you know, the paused deadlift. After this one I will go to my accessory work of which the first one will be uh, good mornings, then some abs, some core training basically, and then I will talk to you a little bit about the program I'm going with nowadays with my sort of power building slash power lifting combo. But first let's do the post set. So 160, coming down from the 205. Let's tighten the straps here and let's do a few reps. Four maybe. Two to go. And one last. Really taxing as the lift is paused somewhere in the middle of the lift kind of absorb some power since you cannot use the leg drive so much. Oh my, pretty like hell. So I'll unrack the bar and set up the uh, good morning sets. I'll turn the camera a bit and uh, next I will do that and then tell you about the broke home. Oh I need to stop breathing this heavily. So now it's time to do some good mornings and I will start them quite light. After all, I haven't been doing this uh, for a few months now, I think. Uh, and also because those lifts were so taxing, it makes no sense to go full blown at least right away. So let's see how the first set feels and then I'll add some weight probably. Didn't feel too heavy, but still not too lightweight. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too weak. Maybe not in the full blown condition. Now, the program I'm now doing, I keep switching that every now and then. Not too often, I think. And maybe not too often. But I'm now doing this program called five three one you might know it from a gentleman known as jim wendler who's actually also a metalhead which was a nice coincidence when i first read about him well uh, less than 10 years ago but maybe seven eight years ago when i start started to do his uh, program for the first time uh, he's uh, 
Uh, and this used to be very heavy uh, power lifter. Uh, writes really cool stuff about weightlifting and programs and all that stuff. And this 531 program and all the different versions uh, are his work, kind of his like lifetime thing in a way. And uh, well, obviously, I didn't pick his program because he, him being a metalhead. But because my friend who gave me tips early on in my lifting, I've been now doing 10 years and I'm still quite weak. Figures that you already start at around 30s and don't have much of an idea what to do. Uh, it's not easy to get that much strength. But nevertheless, um, my friend gave some tips about uh, what kind of power program could be cool to use, which I could get some results and all that stuff. So I've been doing it quite a bit throughout the years. Not only that, obviously, but quite a lot anyway, more than any other program. And it has helped me. But of course, every now and then you hit a wall, especially if you don't change the program, which was my um, uh, mistake for so many, so many years. So uh, probably would have gotten way better results if I was more like bulking, that is eating a lot more and also if I switch the program every now and then. So two minutes have passed, I'm going to continue in a bit. Let's just add, add some uh, five kilos here. So this set will be a bit heavier, not much, but just a bit. Grab some water, add the alert, another two minutes. So, I've uh, been doing this kind of a program for quite a bit, and the accessory lifts are different from time to time. Now, I've been planning them more than before. For, for example, now that after the summer I started doing this kind of this program again, I did it most part of the year early on, and my results were moving a little bit towards heavier, even though I'm a little bit more lighter than this at this time of the year. Last year I was pretty much 100 kilos, uh, like a year ago. I started cleaning a little bit my nutrition, that is, by cleaning I mean eating a little more clean and um, I lost some weight but I started to gain uh, results and reaching my old results and now I'm actually breaking some of them. This uh, deadlift uh, set wasn't exactly record breaking but it's actually what I did exactly two years ago, th uh, 31st of October 2016. Seven reps for 205. So getting older, not necessarily stronger, but anyway, getting the results I'm looking for. So now that I'm uh, back to this program, I try to switch the accessory work after a few weeks. Now, for example, the first uh, cycle takes four weeks. You have four movements for each week, and then you uh, keep adding the weights for those three weeks and different uh, sets. And then the fourth set is kind of a deload week, which is a little bit lighter. And then you start lifting again. And uh, 
then I switch the accessory lifts. So this is my second cycle now after the summer and so this week I'm doing a little bit different accessory work. For example, I didn't do a good mornings uh, last cycle. Now I'm gonna do them for this four weeks cycle. The reason why I didn't add more weights is because, to be honest, I feel like this is as heavy as I can go now. I've been doing this with more weight, obviously. I think up to 100 kilos with 10 reps or so, but to be honest, today I'm not in that shape. That deadlift set was so taxing. Uh, probably has something to do with uh, the reason that I haven't been doing this for a while. So the body is not accustomed of doing this particular movement again. So it's kind of in shock. Probably next week when I'm gonna do this, I can probably, not necessarily, but probably I can add some weight because that's how body basically works. So you get used to certain movements and your, your body starts to adapt. And eventually things get a little bit easier, but also the body starts kind of adapting so much that uh, it gets hard to add more weight called adaptive resistance. People who are as um, aware of lifting weights than I am or more know all this. So this is kind of a newbie stuff, if you will, but just explaining why I figure it's not going as well as it might be. But then again, it doesn't really matter because it's not like I'm hitting reps, you know, record reps with this movement. It's only accessory work, so it really doesn't matter that much. And those who are into this particular program, which I can pretty much vouch for, I strongly recommend you Google 531. There are plenty of sites with that. JimWendler.com probably has most of that stuff, but you can just look for T Nation and other sorts for this program. There are lots of variations. And if you're into powerlifting or power building and you want to try this one, I strongly recommend getting uh, an ebook from Jim Wendler's site or whatever, because it has plenty of different variations of this program and also uh, different kites and tips to accessory works and whatnot. Also maybe some uh, stuff about nutrition and all that stuff, but that's a different read. This time we'll focus just on the lifting. And uh, in a bit, I will tell you about the music because that was also asked from me like, what do you listen to when you lift weights? Well, again, let's get that in a bit. So, a couple of sets. Just check the alert here. Once again, two minutes. <clears throat> so this will be a lengthy video for sure. Uh, so about the music. Some people were asking like, could I share a playlist or playlists when I work out? And I said, unfortunately, no, because I'm not the type of person who uh, does playlists 
nor listened to them by other people. It was funny when I uh, created my Spotify account a few years ago, and obviously you can see your friends there and all that stuff. Um, people, you know, started following me, like my friends and all that stuff, and I was like, makes no sense, because I'm not gonna do playlists, so I'm not helpful in that sense. My job is to do, or job, is to do reviews and all that stuff, recommend albums, maybe sometimes single songs, individual recordings, but I don't do playlists. I am the album kind of guy. I go for a certain album by a certain band, and then I just go with that. I don't do much uh, compilations or collections, you know, kind of a best of thing is, unless I'm gonna get a hang of some new band, might be an old band for me anyway, I mean new band for me, but old band in general, then I might be, you know, checking out the best of kind of thing. For example, if I wanted to go with, I don't know, Billy Idol discography, and I had no idea where to start from, maybe then I could go like best of Billy Idol to figure out if it's worth going through that discography. But in essence, I don't do playlists, so I just listen to individual albums, and most of the time I do uh, listen to those promos, digital promos, which I just upload to a cloud service, like OneDrive or Google Drive or whatever, and I just basically stream them, stream them from there using my phone and my Bluetooth uh, speaker. So that is what I mostly do, but I do have some favorite bands, maybe favorite albums if I go really picky, which I like to do when I'm working out. I'm gonna tell you about that after this set, okay? So let's final good morning set before some abdominal work. pressure from the bell is not exactly helping me. Must be one of my hardest uh, workout sessions for a while. I felt in the morning a little bit kind of as if I had a sore throat coming. I don't know if it will happen, hopefully not. But since I had already planned um, this day for this workout video and because I'm going for a trip for four days and work trip uh, this was my day to do this workout despite not being 100% but it's going quite okay despite of all that stuff a little bit of breathing and then we go to the next accessory move which is also the last one and then I'm gonna talk to you about a little bit of my favorite workout bats. Since I'm not feeling too powerful today, uh, I won't be doing very much abdominal work. I feel, to be honest, more exhausted than I was supposed to be. But still, let's not leave this unfinished. Uh, the workout is called hanging leg raise. And I'm gonna use traps for this because this is not a uh, grip movement so much and I have a tiny bit of problem with my fingertip going a uh, sort of uh, inflammation uh, underneath the or uh, close to the nail so it's kind of a painful to grip that much even with the straps so let's tighten the straps once again and let's start hanging.
This is also a good moment for uh, well abdominals mostly, but also because you're you know training deadlift uh, can add certain grip strength. But this is a little bit taxing, might be on your shoulders. For example, when I had a couple of years ago a shoulder problem, this was too painful a movement for me to do. So if you have shoulder problems, this might not be the best possible uh, app exercise. But so I promised to uh, tell you about the music which I like to listen to most if I can go and choose. Well, for for me, it's kind of obvious that black metal is not mostly uh, suited for lifting. First of all, meanwhile, I like black metal a lot. It's kind of a uh, dissonant so often. It's kind of a uh, weak sounding, wrong tempo, and uh, might not be the proper way of aggression that a music is dealing. So in that sense, uh, I don't prefer to do black metal when I'm working out. What I do like to listen to might be some uh, mid-tempo death metal, but more than that, I think traditional heavy metal is one of the best uh, music you can listen to when you're pumping iron. It doesn't really matter if you're powerlifting, crossfitting, weightlifting, lifting weights, bodybuilding, or whatever power building or whatever hybrid you're doing or just getting your body to recover recover from a, in an injury or whatever uh, traditional heavy metal kind of a mid-tempo part with you know strong riffs like din di din di din di 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 din di di din di 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 you get the idea it could be Judas Priest Tio um, I don't know Black Sabbath maybe and especially bands like Man of War of course Iron Maiden is good too so I think those kind of uh, stuff is, is among the best you can listen to uh, when you are, you know, going to gym and hit some records. Manowar especially, there's one song above all and it's called Number One. Check out the lyrics if you don't know what I mean. Now, next set and then back to the music. So once again, Straps and And let's set the alert for two minutes before the last set. Now other stuff which I totally like to listen to is trash metal. It has a little bit more aggression and especially if it's not too high tempo, it is totally awesome for uh, workout sessions. It doesn't really matter if the tempo, you know, changes throughout the course because obviously sometimes you need more fast paced stuff. It's more, at least to me, that the atmosphere is right. And for that reason, the black metal is not suitable no matter what the tempo is. Because, you know, if it's about darkness and kind of dissonant and really atmospheric stuff, like Burson, for example, uh, I think it's not setting me for aggression and power, strength and uh, discipline. There are some exceptions, maybe, but in general, it, it, it's about the wrong vibe, wrong atmosphere, wrong setup, basically. But then again, uh, trash metal certainly has that kind of aggression, and heavy metal also, it's about power. Uh, what also works for me, at least, very well, is Rammstein, because it's so powerful, it's so militant, it's, it's like the German guys are giving me commands to lift more and don't be that sorry sack of piling crap uh, and whatnot. It's, it's kind of a having that uh, 
disciplinary disciplinary you know thing which then again sets me on fire basically for me that works uh, really really good and um, what else maybe some industrial music could work uh, but then again even some soothing music can do that for example um, now uh, I'm forgetting the name I will get back to that but there was this writing that sometimes the soothing music might be the perfect one to set you up for the mood of lifting weights but I don't know it's a different story maybe Henry Rollins yeah that is uh, I'll do it a bit And if you want to make this very much harder, you go to the toe, bar to toes to bar kind of stuff. It's easier if you're lightweight, me being around uh, 95 kilos, it's kind of taxing, kind of hard. I can do a couple of them, maybe a few, but not too many. So here's my workout. I don't know if it made much sense to you. I hope you get some ideas, probably some questions. And if you do, please do them because I'm going to do kind of ask me anything type of video, probably uh, to be released one week after this one. So if you are, if you're having questions about workout, about music, uh, all kinds of opinions, whatnot, uh, shoot them to me. As soon as possible uh, right under this comment box and uh, I will get back to you and now it's time to finish with some uh, really really uh, dirty hands as you can see some uh, weightlift things there <laughs> some scar tissue on the hand uh, that's all from Jerry's Rauta workout session um, Next day will be bench day. I'm looking forward to it. And now it's time to have a recovery drink and hit the shower and then get some food. Hope you had some good time or decent time or whatever. And uh, keep on working out. Keep getting better. Strength always rocks. See you soon. Take care. Adios.